Hi, and welcome to another Hijack tutorial. Today we are going to have a look at our kiosk template. The main purpose of this template is to demo content to an audience in the most simplified way. Your audience doesn't need to have any experience with VR to get started, so no more complicated setups during tech events. Just let the viewer put on the headset and the videos will play automatically. This template features 360 video playback, optional spatial audio playback, up to six subtitles per video, gaze control, playback of a loopable playlist, video controls, and a reset of the headset after five seconds when it's put off. Log in to app.hijack.io and create a new app. Give your app a name and add an icon. Then select the Essential Kiosk template and click Save. Add one or more projects to your app. I've already created some projects with the very inspirational names Video 1, 2 and 3. You can change the playback order by using the arrows on the left side. Let's build the app for the desired VR platform. Click on the button Build Application. I'm creating this app for the Oculus Rift, so I'll choose Oculus PC from the drop-down menu. Click Start Build and you'll see our new app popping up in the Build section. I've waited about 20 minutes and my app is now ready to be installed. Go to the Builds page and click Get App. This will open up the installation guide. Follow the step-by-step -step guide. In my case, download App, download Zip and unzip. Now open the app on the VR device that you've built the app for. When the environment is done loading, you'll need to download all the projects to the VR device. Click download and wait until the loading bar is full. You can put the headset off during downloading. It will continue in the background. My download is now completed and I can see my three projects appearing in the user interface. The kiosk template uses a so-called gaze controlled menu as the default interface. I recommend to use gaze control when the audience should be able to choose what they want to see without using a controller. The viewer just has to look for a couple of seconds to a video thumbnail and the video will start automatically. During playback there are no video controls by default. When the video is done playing, the viewer will be redirected to the main menu so they can choose to view another video. If at any point you wish to go back to the main menu, just put off the headset for 5 seconds and it will show the initial menu. You are able to easily customize the kiosk template by going to the Hijack platform. Click settings on the app page and a list with all template settings will appear. As you can see, you can upload a splash image, logo or 360 background. If you choose to use the default background, you can change the colors so it matches your branding style. Choose if you want to have video controls during playback and finally, Enable or disable the gaze controlled menu. Click Save and save your app on the app page. Now the only thing we need to do is restart the app we've already built and our changes will update. This way of customization also works if you want to add, change or delete projects after you have built an app. Let's open the app again. You can see the logo and adjusted colors. The gaze menu is now replaced by a message with the start button. With this interface enabled, the videos will be played back in a playlist that loops, making it extremely easy to demo content. Just let the audience put on the headset and the videos will play automatically. The playlist will start from the beginning when the headset has been put off for 5 seconds. The video controls are enabled. It's now easy to skip through a video or go to the next video in the playlist by using the controller. Thanks for watching this tutorial. The Kiosk template is part of the Essential series, a set of VR templates designed to work for a lot of VR use cases. Check them out in the template marketplace on hedgehog.io.